What's going on everyone? Guys, ladies, hope you're all doing well. So let's look at a little Gerber mini multi-tool. This was another thing I found for $5 in my local Walmart. Original price of this online is about, it varies from $7 to $10. It's not bad. Uh, some of you may not like this, some of you may depends on your applications and your needs but this is the Gerber curve and this is probably the smallest multi-tool I've ever seen guys this thing is small so this has six tools in it uh, it's mainly aluminum I'm going to mention off the bat I do have a few little nitpicks with this one major gripe which we will go over in a minute you can see Gerber stamped in to a piece of hard plastic you got a bottle opener there that is metal and it does work well I have tried it you got a carabiner clip here now this is where my biggest gripe with this thing is it doesn't work uh, maybe if you attach it to like a key ring and then to your belt loop yes but you're not going to attach this to a backpack loop or your belt loop without the use of another carabiner. I have a small one. That's how I've been using it. I had a small one laying around the house and I just put that through there and then clip it to either my belt loop or my backpack loop. It's too small. I feel if it was longer and wider it wouldn't be a problem but it's just too small. I mean look how you guys can see how big that is compared to my thumbnail. It's just too tiny. It's not usable. Uh, so let's go over the tools that are in this and a nitpick I do have the first tool is a little pen knife there's comparison to my finger I don't know what steel type of steel this is I don't know dimensions I'm just gonna say that's probably about an inch and a half long uh, just a little pen knife got a nail nick there to deploy it you may have been noticing this little piece of metal here it's spring loaded I'll show you that down in the frame in a minute but that locks the tools in the place you probably can't hear it. it's a slight little click there's no blade play or anything but guys keep in mind you are not going to do nothing fancy with this it's so tiny I mean that's with the knife deployed look how small it is it's probably three and a half inches long just shy of four inches. This thing is really lightweight. It's really tiny. Uh, came sharp. That's not a problem. You're not going to be using this for anything other than like opening a letter, opening a box, something like that. Just a basic task. Nothing fancy. So that's your first, second tool, third tool. I mentioned the bottle opener as well. So that's three. Now each of the other tools do have a little like groove to where you could pull them out. And um, I have really short fingernails so that's kind of hard for me to do. So here's tool number four. This is a medium flathead driver. It does work and I have used it and had no problems with it. So let's get that out of the way. And here comes tool number five. This is just a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, I wish this was rounded. It's more of a flat profile. Uh, yeah, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I couldn't really get that one to work too well. It worked on one screw and it didn't another. I think it just depends on the size of the screw you're trying it on. But I wish it was round and not flat. So I guess I'll nitpick at that a little bit. You also have a file here. Hopefully you guys can see that. There is a little bit of a file on there and it is rough. And I noticed on this side it's more of a diagonal file. And then on the other side, if you guys can see, it's almost like a diamond weave texture on that side. And they are fairly rough. I haven't tried that. I haven't had no need for it. But it feels like it would work fairly well. So let's get to the last little tool in this and then we'll go over and I'll show you. Might as well show that to you real quick. There's that spring loaded 
uh, safety switch that I was talking about earlier and that just locks everything in place and in order for the for you to disengage stuff and fold it back into the handle you have to push the, that little piece of metal so here's the last tool it's just a small flathead driver is what they call it it's really really tiny I mean, you guys can see how small that is very tiny but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this little mini review I don't know if you want to call it a review I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. I have more knife video reviews coming. And click the like button. Also to mention, this does come in different colors. I think I've seen it in a green, a black, and also a gray. With that said, I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.